Hi guys, it's been a long time since I filmed, so I am one really sorry for that and um yeah life's just been a bit hectic and getting in the way and yeah I really don't have many excuses apart from work and just life it does just get in the way um which is only gonna be worse come June um but yeah I'm now 15 weeks pregnant and everything is going absolutely amazing so I've been told by the hospital and like any medical professionals they have they're just absolutely amazed with how everything is going so far so I thought I would film a 15 week pregnancy update because I haven't filmed one in a very long time and I think I last filmed one when I was 10 weeks pregnant but then I never uploaded it anyway um, so I will upload it because it's there and it is recorded um, but I just feel like I haven't really felt any symptoms and I don't know if that's because I'm not particularly looking for them or waiting for them um, but I don't know I just I just haven't really felt anything until this last week or so so I figured I'd film 15 week pregnancy update a little bit of an update because now I'm in my second trimester and yeah um, so I am recording this on Tuesday the 2nd of January so my 2018 is being started pregnant um, but yeah I am 15 weeks three days did I say that maybe not um, and yeah, I've been at the hospital a fair few times already and I've had my dating scan and all the bits like that and I've taken tests as well for um, just my chances of having or carrying a down syndrome child as well which also come back um that i'm not in a very in not in a high risk or anything kind of category so i'm about average risk i think for like a healthy person like average normal risk for ha carrying a down syndrome baby which i am you know really happy about and i think it might be a mixed reaction as to whether it's okay to get that scan done but i think personally um if I could know and be prepared for something like that then you know it would, it would help me out a lot and it would um, yeah just a lot of preparation I think might have to be done if I was carrying a Down syndrome baby um, but yeah that's completely off topic um, this last week or so I have been suffering incredibly with back pain and I've been told by a lot of my work colleagues um, that have also carried children that it's just my hips and everything down there because it is just literally that region that's hurting. I've been told that it's just everything moving, moving and getting bigger and just preparing me for obviously the growth of my child. Um, but it still really hurts nonetheless and um, it doesn't help leaning or bending down all day either so I'm really quite struggling with that and I seem to just find myself in bed every day every evening um, with a hot water bottle just trying to relieve some of the pain um, but other than that I'm pretty okay um, I definitely say that I've got a bump coming um, I'm, I wasn't a slim girl I was a, a tubby girl I'd say and I had a belly before I got pregnant so um, yeah but I definitely feel like there's a bump coming like I feel like there's a bit of a curve and a bit of a shape and whatever just coming to that area to my belly I feel like it's there um, and I've also purchased my push chair which one is freaking amazing uh, to have something like that just out and paid for and out of the way I think is a huge pressure just lifted off my shoulders because then it's just financially it, I have no worries about that um, I'm really happy with what I got and it was in the sale um, but due to our old wise tale I haven't got my push chair I haven't put it up anywhere and it's all over at my mum's because it's apparently bad luck to open and see and use like even push your push chair before you've had your baby so I won't be putting that up for a very long time but hopefully I'll film it when I do I'm hoping to put it up 
around May time. I went to the hospital on the 27th just for a consultant's checkup. The consultants were very, very, very pleased with how everything's going. Um, my HbA1c is possibly the lowest I it's ever been. I can't remember it ever being this low and it's something that I've done on my own and um, yeah I think I'll put that more in a further in-depth video along with a Medtronic pump insulin update um, which I think would be really useful for just diabetics anyway in general but I think for this pregnancy actually being on an insulin pump and using insulin pump therapy has really helped me maintain really good blood sugars throughout the entirety of this pregnancy because it's so easy to change things and um, especially with my healthcare's help they're able to kind of look at all my things look at any patterns and tell me where I should possibly make changes just to increase um, just to make sure that my bloods aren't dipping too low or it prevents hypers um, so it's really good and I really do think um, without the, being on an insulin pump this pregnancy would be going a completely different way to how it is at the moment um so i've just checked my phone because like honestly my mind's gone completely blank um but one of the things i have i have noticed is a lot of breakouts on my skin and i can't remember whether i mentioned it in my 10 week update um but i, I am getting quite a few spots everywhere um which is quite annoying but I'm also not wanting to put makeup on it because I feel like maybe they might be just aggravated a little bit of aggravated spots so I'm kind of keeping that makeup free and wearing minimal makeup as you can see um so yeah breaking out that's one of my I'm really not enjoying it um and I'd say probably in the last two weeks I have been more awake more alert um, feeling myself for sure and I think it's making everything a little bit easier just being that bit more awake um, because I did go through a rough patch um, maybe in November where I, I just couldn't wake up and I wasn't waking up and stuff and the hospital obviously couldn't put it down so whether I was just exhausted and really tired because of pregnancy or whether it was to do with my diabetes so um, yeah, they're really, the hospital is struggling to identify a lot of issues, whether it's because of diabetes or pregnancy. So I think I'm going to have that f until June. And then if they still persist, I'll follow it up, obviously. Um, I am also not fitting in my clothes. So I've told you that my belly's grown, but it has. And I had to go out and buy a load of new tops and stuff just so I can fit comfortably in t-shirts and just not feel so crap about myself um, because I feel like there's a stage um, especially where you're at where I'm at in the 12 to like 18 week period maybe um, where you don't have like a proper significant baby bump but you are getting bigger and you just feel really crap in any of the clothes you have so I did go out and buy leggings and just stretchy t-shirts and throw over shirts and everything which I will show you in a separate video because I wanted to film a Primark haul because Primark um, but yeah that's also a thing um, but I haven't really got much to update you on this was literally all I've noticed and I feel like for this to be my only um, symptoms of pregnancy really I feel like that's quite good and I'm doing pretty good so far so um everyone's like the third trimester is really gonna hit you bad and like you're gonna have such bad sickness and everything but um yeah these uh, first 15 weeks have been really quite comfortable and yeah I'm quite I'm really enjoying it really enjoying it um so yeah that's all I've got for this 15 week update and hopefully it won't be such a long time again until I film another one because I do want to look back on these so if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more then hit subscribe down below and leave a comment if you want a little chat about anything um, or you got suggestions for me because again I love them um, but yeah I hope to see you all in my next video bye